Hi folks, we're uh, out here in our back uh, woodlot and I imagine many of you were thinking uh, what's going on? There's not been any videos or any contact here for a couple of months and uh, I finally have time to be able to give you uh, an update on what has been happening. Uh, mainly the uh, uh, accident that I had I was out ice fishing with uh, Logan one afternoon, January 23rd, and uh, I foolishly did not put my ice creepers on, and it was slippery, and I fell, went down hard on the ice, and uh, the uh, end result was that I broke this right shoulder in two places, and uh, have been going through doctor's appointments and uh, um, physical therapy for the last two two months and a half and uh, just getting to the point where I can finally do something with it so that gives you an idea of why there hasn't been any videos up we did uh, do a little fishing that day and caught a few perch but uh, nothing to, to really brag about I'll put that in right here and let you see the the fishing segment and then I'll come back and uh, tell you about uh, some future plans some things that are coming up that we plan to do in the very uh, near future.
perch that we kept. We've got two others, but we put them back. We've got a bunch of Only one flag today. As I said, I'll come back and give you a few idea of the uh, things we have planned. Um, trout season has changed in New York State and they have uh, opened it up. You can trout fish all year round, uh, but during the um, what we consider the off season, uh, up to April 1st, you have to uh, catch and release, and it can be only with artificial uh, baits as well. Uh, no, no live baits or any anything uh, natural baits. So uh, April 1st is uh, Monday of this next week, and uh, trout season is opening, and we uh, we're putting together some ultralight uh, outfits that we can go out and do some uh, tr uh, stream fishing for trout. Uh, natives, speckles, uh, rookies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, around here we have a couple of creeks that have those uh, species for us and then uh, we'll be using them for uh, panfish as well and a few of the, uh, the bigger uh, rivers that we fish trout in as, as, as well. So that's coming up in the very near future. We're going to get the, uh, we'll be getting the boat out once again. This year, last year we didn't. We had flooding so often that it was actually kind of uh, hazardous to be out on the lake with uh, uh, sunken timbers and sunken docks and everything else. And uh, so we didn't get out uh, much last year with the boat. We will try to this year and uh, do some pan fishing, some bass fishing, some uh, hopefully maybe some uh, uh, northern pike fishing as well. And uh, we didn't get any fishing to speak of in because partly of the accident that I had where I broke my shoulder, but also uh, this winter has been so strange, Lake Champlain has really not frozen over safely uh, for a very long period of time, just a, maybe about a month or so. And um, so uh, not too many were able to really get out. There were some that, you know, that will uh, brave the, the ice no matter what. Uh, but um, uh, it really wasn't safe to get out too, too much on uh, Champlain where we fish. And uh, so we uh, uh, re weren't really missing too much just because of the accident that I had. But we will be doing some other things. Uh, hopefully I would like to uh, start with this channel. Uh, start building a small cabin or a lean-to, Adirondack lean-to, I'm not sure which back here in our woodlot so we can have a place to just kind of sit and relax and uh, it's not going to be way back in the wilderness or anything of that sort but it will be uh, made with logs that we have here. We have to cut some of these trees anyway because uh, ice storms and such have killed a lot of them and uh, they will just die and fall and uh, we can only burn so many uh, egg, uh, cords of these of these trees. We have a lot of hemlocks that we can use. We have a lot of pine, poplar, and such, and we'll be using many of those for our building. Uh, hopefully we will have time to build a new sugar house that we have to have for our sugaring season. We don't have a big operation, but uh, I've been needing a new sugar house for some time, so we hopefully we'll be doing that as well. Put that on our channel here, and also our outdoor channel, and also the uh, Shiloh Homestead channel that we have about our homestead. So it gives you an idea of some of the things that we will be doing in the very uh, near future. I still have not been released by doctors to do any lifting or anything with this arm. Uh, I'm limited to one pound at this time. Perhaps by the next uh, visit I will be able to up that to five pounds or something, but um, they go very slow with this kind of an injury, and uh, I will tell you, it is very painful. Don't uh, don't put that on your bucket list of something you need to do before you uh, check out. It's uh, very painful, very hard to sleep at night, very hard to manage the pain uh, constantly. So uh, it's something I would I would forego if you had a chance to do so. Uh, but at any rate, here is our our update for right now. Hopefully next week we'll give you a. Uh, video of uh, stream fishing for trout here in our area 
and uh, hopefully they'll be out and, uh, and biting at that time. So uh, I think that'll be it for this particular update right now. Uh, but just to give you an idea of why we haven't had anything on for uh, the last two months.